homemade love and great recipes here on this 26th day of September uh, how's everybody doing today I'm doing pretty good so I know I said last night something to get a couple things you know I didn't have everything I needed well I got everything now so I got 10 apples two oranges and then I'll tell you the rest of the ingredients as we go but the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take these apples and we're going to quarter them up. We're going to take out the cores. I mean, you may not really need to do this because it's just you're boiling it in a crock pot. So, you leave the seeds and stuff in there. I'm not because, I don't know, I just, I want, because at the end of it, you know, we got to strain everything. And so I'm just thinking if you don't want to take the seed, the cores out of the apples, you don't have to. I could be wrong on that. So as we're going, I'm quartering these down now. So I just cut those into more than a quarter. That'll be all right, though. I got 10 of them, 10 huge, or it said 10 large apples. So I got 10 large apples. And then the oranges, um, I think what I'm going to do... Is we're gonna peel one of the oranges but the other orange I'm not gonna peel because I want it to be it's apple cider so it should be a little tart right that's what I'm thinking so we're only gonna peel one of the oranges to take a little bit of the tartness out um, this is the first time I've ever done this recipe and I'm kind of excited about it now it says it's best to serve it while it's hot but if you have, you know, you'll have some left over because it, it takes 16 cups of water to do this the right way. So there's going to be plenty left over. You know, this is basically like a decent, you know, like a, a get together, you know, like a Halloween party, a birthday party in the fall, something like that. Um, throw this little recipe together before everybody gets there. It only takes, I think, well, you got to heat it. You got to heat the 16 cups of water up until they start to um, boil and then after they start to boil and you um, it takes about I don't know an hour maybe two hours and then after that you um you turn it down to a simmer and you let it simmer for a whole nother hour so I mean there's there's a little bit of time in it it gives you a little bit of time to be able to get to um, other things done. Um, you can do this. I'm doing it in a crock pot. Uh, it's another crock pot recipe. Yes, I know. Um, but like I've told you before, crock pot recipes are easy and quick and not very much of a mess to clean up. You know what I'm saying? And maybe these apples were a little big. Uh, I don't know. And the recipe didn't say nothing about peeling the apples before I put them in there. Um, so I didn't peel the apples. I'm just leaving them in there. Because at the end, um, once I strain them in my um, mesh strainer, um, we're going to press the sides of or We're going to press the apples to get the rest of the juices and the flavoring out of them. But the first thing we got to do. Oh. I gotta cut that one in half. That's not a quarter, that's a half. Okay. Once we get all of our ingredients or all of our apples and our oranges in, then we'll go back and I'll put in my spices. Um, now, it, it called for like whole allspice, um, it called for whole nutmeg, and I priced them at the store, and I'm sorry, they were ridiculously priced. Like, whole allspice, or was it, no, it was whole nutmeg was like $12 for a jar. So, I, I did see in a recipe that I don't have to use the whole. I can use um, the powders. So, I went and I looked up, you know, I did my research, and I found out what, um, like a whole nutmeg is um, two teaspoons instead of a whole nutmeg. The powder is two teaspoons. 
So now we gotta go through and we're gonna quarter. Wait a minute, we're gonna peel this first. So I'm a um no. I said I was gonna do that to half, so cut it in half and then uh we gotta figure this out. There's that. We'll peel this half. And then I'll quarter this. And then I won't peel the second one, but I will quarter it. Okay, so there's one. Quartered. And there's one. Not quartered. Okay, so now I got to turn around here to the sink. And I got to get 16 cups of water. Basically, you want to fill your crock pot up to where there's like an inch left at the top of it. Um, that's one, probably two cups, because I think this is a 16 ounce, or um, it's a little bit bigger than a cup. It's actually probably a couple cups. There's two, so you probably need four of these, just throwing it together like this. And then I'll go and I'll put my, um, my seasonings in. Uh, Oh, well, there it is right there. There's three of them. Okay. So we'll do the three. And then, so now I need, I know, there we go. I need this. And you're going to need a wooden spoon. Now, they say to use a wooden spoon or a potato masher. So I'm using the wooden spoon. So now I need one teaspoon of allspice. I just got the allspice today. Um, I've been, I, and I didn't, you know what I didn't get? I didn't get, um, crap. I didn't get cayenne pepper. Again, wine spices didn't get cayenne pepper. Okay, let's shut that one. We're going to open this one. Ooh, there's allspice. So it says one teaspoon of allspice. Now, it, it, like I said, the recipe did say um, whole allspice, or you could use a powder. So I'm just using the powder, and I'm just going to sprinkle it over what we got in there so far. Okay, allspice, and then one nutmeg, like I said, is two teaspoons for a whole nutmeg. So, one... Spread it over. Two. Yep. How's everybody doing? Let me see if there's any comments. Sorry. Oh, how we doing, Aaron? I am making apple cider from scratch. There is the allspice. So next we need half a teaspoon of cinnamon. It calls for four cinnamon sticks. And I looked it up, and it says that half a teaspoon is for a cinnamon, four cinnamon sticks equals out to be a half a teaspoon. So that's all, I'm thinking that's a whole teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, I don't know, there's the half, all righty then. Okay. And then a half a teaspoon of ginger um does anybody or actually i think i'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of ginger actually just because the last time i did something with ginger i did not like the outcome whatsoever so i decided i'm not doing it again um if you're watching this and you watch and you happen to see this on my youtube channel uh drop me a like drop me a comment tell me where you're from and I will send you $5 in stock. Also, if you watch my video, I would really appreciate some feedback. And if you have any apple cinnamon recipes, send them my way and you might get done live um, for you to see. So now that I've added everything, we're going to turn this on high. Oops. It's on high. See, I got four apples left over. Those are huge apples. All right. 
So now I think I'm going to mix that water up some with my wooden spoon, just so everything is in the water and not just sitting on top of the water. And we're going to, I'm going to show you guys what we're looking like. Um, you know, it's not much right now, but like I said, we're going to let it cook for two hours. I'm going to check it in two hours. If it's simmering, I'm going to turn it down and then I'll cover it again and let it cook longer. So this is is what our apple cider is turning out to look like two hours from now i will post a picture of everything should be softened by two hours okay the, the apples up with my wooden spoon um, once that happens then we let it simmer for another hour um, to finish cooking and then it says to serve warm. So we will see how it turns out. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all showing up and watching. Sorry, I'm trying to clean up a little bit. Um, appreciate you showing up and watching. Um, I need a haircut bad. I'm starting to look like I'm from the 60s. Anyways, <laughs> thanks for watching. I love you. I really appreciate y'all giving me support. Really. Aaron, send me that recipe, please. Um, I'm for real. I want um, apple cinnamon recipes. Because, you know, I, re I really don't get into the pumpkin spice. I don't. But if somebody sends me a pumpkin spice recipe and I think I might like it, I might go ahead and do it. That is no problem. You know what I'm saying? I'm here to please. I'm here to help. God bless y'all. Like I said, once again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening. And until next time, y'all, peace.